We've got some praise reports, Gordon. Here's one from um, John of Sheridan, Indiana. He's had problems with his lower jaw bones since he was a young boy. Last September, he was watching the 700 Club, and he heard you give a word of knowledge, Gordon, saying, someone, you, you have a recurring condition in the bone in your jaw. It's primarily in the lower jaw. Your teeth are loose as a result of this bone condition and deterioration. You're looking at grafts. You're looking at surgical procedures, and God is able. He's working a miracle for you right now in Jesus' name. He's able to restore bone. He's able to take away all the infection and make everything normal again. Just receive it now in Jesus' name. Well, John received that word. The pain stopped. He's had no pain since that day. Yay. Here's Janet from Texas. Suffered from fibromyalgia for seven and a half years. The doctor said, it's one of the worst cases I've ever seen. Mm. Well, she was watching the 700 Club. We have the date, May 11th, <laughs> 2017. Wendy said, people that have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, with chronic fatigue, that is a spiritual problem most of the time. Start putting the praise music, music on. Start praising God. God is going to deliver you as you worship and thank him. That spirit will leave in Jesus' name. <laughs> well, Janet accepted the word and felt an immediate difference, and she is completely healed. Amen. Realize that God inhabits the praise of his people. When you come to him with thanksgiving for what he has already done, believe that you have already received it. That's the key to miracles. Believe that you have already received it. These are the words of Jesus. You'll find them in Mark chapter 11. Believe that you will have already received it. So, when were your sins forgiven? Start thinking about that. Oh, they were forgiven before you even born, before that you even committed them. Mm -hmm. They were forgiven on the cross 2,000 years ago. When were all your diseases healed? Same time, 2,000 years ago. He's born away all our sickness, all our pain, all of it. So let's bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who heals all your diseases, who forgives all your iniquity. Let's come to him right now. Let's believe. Let's thank him for what he's already done. And let's see it happen in your body right now. Let's pray. Amen. Lord, we just come to you and we just lift the needs to you. And we come boldly to the throne of grace and we ask that your grace would be poured out, that you would yes. just open eyes, open ears, that they may hear you that they may know you and they may know the greatness of, the, of your power towards us who believe. Yes, Lord. So stretch forth your hand to do miracles today, for we ask it in Jesus' name. There's someone you've got um, been diagnosed with um, cancer in the right lung uh, and you're feeling sensations in that lung right now. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, it's like there's um, uh, just uh, fingers, hands going into your lung right now and just taking all that cancer away. In Jesus' name, be healed. That pain, uh, be healed. Be gone now in Jesus' name. All of the phlegm, all of, all of the, the difficulty in breathing, all of the coughing, all of that, gone. Now, take a deep breath, what you couldn't do before. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath and realize God just healed you. Wendy, what do you have? Yeah, there's a woman you've been praying for many years for deliverance from chronic migraines. Today's the day of your deliverance. God has heard your prayers. He's delivering you. Just start praising God. You are healed. They're not coming back. Thank you, Lord. Uh, there's someone you've got a problem with hearing in your right ear, and it's related to ear infections, uh, and you're experiencing pain in that ear. In Jesus' name, be healed, yes. be made whole. All of that just disappear and go away. Yes. Uh, someone else with problems with your um, pelvis and, and hip. Uh, it's like it's tilted and it's causing a, a limp. In Jesus' name, everything be restored, be made whole. There's other people that you saw the story about uh, the man healed from the esophagus issues, and you, you're having, um, there's someone else with a problem with their esophagus. There's a hole in it. God is healing that. It's, it's healing being, God is touching you right now. Just receive it in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. 
We thank you for what you've done, how you gave yourself so that we could be with you. We thank you for all that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. If you've been healed, we want to know. We want to share your good report, your testimony. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. And if you need prayer, we're here for you 24 hours a day. There's a reason. There's the prayer of the importune widow, that parable in the New Testament. There's a reason for it. Jesus encourages us to keep praying, keep, prom keep holding on to that promise. So we're here for you for that. All you have to do is call us, 1-800-700-7000.